Hi, I'm Joe with InchCalculator.com, and I'd like to show you how to read the markings on a ruler, along with how to use one. This is a standard 12-inch desktop ruler. It's numbered 1 to 12, and the line adjacent to each number represents a whole inch. Each tick mark between the inch markings represents a fraction of an inch. The typical ruler has 15 ticks between the large inch markings, and they're spaced 1 16th of an inch apart. They range in length from short to longer. Let's talk a little more about what measurements each of these markings represent. The longer lines are spread out further apart, while the shorter lines are closer to each other. The longer lines have bigger measurements between them and the next largest line, while the shorter lines have smaller measurements between them and the next largest line. The line that's in the center of the larger inch lines represents one half of an inch, meaning there's a half inch between the inch lines and the half inch lines. The next smallest lines that are between the half inch lines and the one inch lines represents one quarter of an inch, meaning there's one quarter of an inch between the quarter inch lines and the inch or half inch lines. The smaller lines between the quarter inch, half inch, and one inch lines represent one eighth of an inch, meaning there's an eighth inch between those lines and the larger lines. The smallest lines represent one sixteenth of an inch. On this ruler, there are one sixteenth of an inch between each line. Some rulers may not have the smallest 1 16th inch lines, while others may have even smaller lines that are closer together, measuring to 1 32nd of an inch of accuracy. Here's another way to think about the measurements that each line represents. We start with the fact that each line represents 1 16th of an inch, so 1 16th, 2 16th, and so on. Notice that the inch fractions with an even numerator can be reduced. For example, 2 16th can be reduced to 1 8th. Let's do this for all the fractions. Now notice that some of the fractions can be reduced again. For example, 2 eighths can be reduced to 1 quarter. After reducing these, notice that 2 quarters can be reduced yet again to 1 half. Remember that it's possible for a ruler to have a precision of 1 eighths to 1 thirty seconds. Our ruler in this example is a 1 16th inch ruler. Now that we understand how the measurement markings work, let's talk a little bit more about how to use a ruler. A ruler can be used to measure the length of an object or for drawing straight lines. We read a ruler from left to right, so to start, position the left tick mark at the edge of the object that you're measuring. Find the measurement mark nearest the other edge of the object. Count the number of one inch marks on the ruler between the edges. In this example, there are four. Next, find the fraction for the measurement line closest to the edge of the object. In this example, it would be three eighths. As you can see, the edge is on the sixth measurement line, which you'll remember corresponds to 3 eighths of an inch. We can always reduce 6 sixteenths down to 3 eighths if we're unsure. Add the inches to the inch fraction to find the length. In this case, 4 plus 3 eighths is 4 and 3 eighths inches. And that's how you read a ruler. We've put together a complete article along with tons of additional information. Check out www.inchcalculator.com to learn more.